Ah, well, I guess it's a snow day for real. Um, still snowing. It's probably about 9.32. .30, I am now watching a YouTube stream of these guys who are doing this, like, basketball free throw thing. And this is how I'm pretty much starting my morning, watching random things on YouTube. Uh, but they're trying to make 41 free throws in a row between a whole, like, company. Uh, and they're splitting it up. Each person's taking, like, five shots. And uh, they've been doing it for a little over 15 hours and 20 minutes straight. And it's being streamed on YouTube. This is, like, the random stuff that I'm watching. So, yeah, 15 hours, 20 minutes. And they have not made 41 in a row. Right now, they're at 24. Going for 25. I got 25. So that's kind of how I'm spending my morning, but I realized I'm getting kind of hungry, and, uh, well, it's time to make some breakfast. So, I guess joke is on me. I uh, bought this milk a while ago and never opened it, and uh, it expired, like, almost two weeks ago. So, um, yep, I guess uh, no cereal. Oh, well, I guess we gotta go with... The only thing I really have in my fridge right now is uh, cookies or uh, lettuce. So rather than having a salad for breakfast, I think we're going with cookies. Who wouldn't like cookies? And uh, I guess not cookies and milk though. Just straight up cookies. The one trick I've kind of used when baking these cookies is I always put it on tin foil. And the reason why I use tin foil is because then I don't have to uh, rewash this tray. So all those auction videos that I get all the great bargains, I put to great use. So also you cannot have these. Look how beautiful that looks. Let's just make one big cookie. I don't think that would probably cook right. You're sitting salsa, you're not getting a cookie. A chocolate chip. I am gonna go fit all of them on here. Um, yeah, I think that's what I did last time. I think I made half. I think 12 cookies for breakfast is enough. How do they look? Oh, let's not do that. I'll get you a treat. Come on, now be gentle. There you go. There you go. Have another one. All right. Taco minis. All right. Let's see how these cookies look. What a day, right? Spending a breakfast with taco sticks. They don't look that great yet. Look like they need about another f uh, maybe 40 seconds. Where are we at on the timer? 20 seconds or close. They need to get a little bit rounder. Oh, no, actually, you know what? Except for the front two, I think they look pretty good. Let's turn this off. That off. Look at this beauty. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right make sure this thing's off. This gives me, like, a nervous breakdown, making sure these things are off all the time. We actually, uh... I lost power one time when I was cooking, and I was like, man, I lost power, and then I completely forgot to turn it off. Because I took, I think, I think I put the pizza in, and then I lost power, like, within three seconds. So I just took the pizza right out, and then I, for some reason, I just forgot to turn off the power, or turn off the heat. What's this dog doing? All right, watch your snout. It's going to be hot. Wow. Put my face right there. All right. Well, that's my breakfast. I'm not going to eat all 12, obviously, but it's there. I don't think I ever put the glass door into this window. That's why it's all pixely. Um, but I'm going to go try to, I guess, save this tree for the best part. Um, that one I can't save, but there's geese out there. If you go outside and I give you freedom, are you going to chase the geese or are you going to be a good dog? Yeah, I put the boots on. I know, souls. Get the gloves on. Gonna go save some trees. Somewhat. And she's gone.
So I meant by saving the trees, you can see this tree right here, for example, you got all the snow on it. I think she has to go to the bathroom. You got all the snow on it. By doing this, it reduces the weight on all these branches. And I know on that one pine tree that's over there, it looks really, really bad. Like it's hanging down to the ground. And with the pine trees, often if you don't get that snow off, the weight will just snap the branch. And then it's gone forever. And it doesn't really make for a healthy tree either uh, when the branch is just snapped randomly. It's actually places where you're supposed to cut it to uh, prolong the longevity of the tree. So I don't want it to snap and then the tree kind of get infected or diseased or anything. This dog is just outrageous. Yeah, you can see over here with this branch. This one snapped off at some point. I don't know where it snapped off from, but the weight on it just knocked it off. Some more branches over there. There we go. Longevity of the tree, right? All right, that should be good for now. Man, you got the snowballs on you. Look at these things. Well, time to dry up. Okay, so it looks like the sun's starting to come out a little bit. Like a man on a mission. I'm trying to get this driveway done. Probably was out here about an hour and uh, had to take off the jacket. It's getting kind of toasty, we should say. Um, it's supposed to actually get sunny. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's really cool. Can you see that, that line that's right there, right here? That's the cable line, and that's the snow and ice and whatever that's on the cable line. Huh. Well, anyway, um, I have big plans for tomorrow, and uh, gotta get the driveway done so we can go places. So it needs to be done. I don't also want to take out any of my vehicles because what I've noticed when shoveling is once you drive over the snow, it becomes really packed, and you can't get that snow off gravel until it gets uh, a little bit softer. Uh, and warmer out. So I'm trying to get it done before I ever try to take any vehicles out or drive anything on this driveway. Uh, but yeah, I have a... Uh, got a little bit of ways to go. This is about an hour's worth. So, yeah, it is what it is, I guess. That line just fell. Literally just fell. Wow. What the heck? Right on cue. Okay, well now that's officially accomplished. I started getting a lot of the snow off the top of the... I guess I didn't do a really good job. I started working on it. I started working on my Jeep. But I got a, uh, I got a path out to get my van out. So, it doesn't look like I did a lot. But I did an absolute ton of stuff with this, this snow. And uh, it's amazing. I'm going to come out here probably about an hour or so. And all these little spots are going to be completely gone of snow. The stuff that I didn't shovel, which is over here, that whole area, um, that won't be gone probably for like three or four days if I don't shovel it, which I might not do because I'm literally exhausted. Shoveling all this, it's a lot more than I thought. It took me probably close to about two hours of just shoveling straight, and it's a, a little bit more than just shoveling off the front porch or back porch or just a little walkway. Shoveling the entire driveway, especially on the gravel, is just 
not ideal. I, I, in fact, I don't even know what the perfect way to get snow off gravel would be. Plowing it doesn't seem to be the best. Snow blowing it, you shoot stones everywhere. I guess shoveling really is the best way to do it out of all the possible options, unless you just get like a heated driveway, but that doesn't, that doesn't solve the, the question of what's the best way to remove snow off gravel. I don't think there's ever really a clear and concise way. All right, got to go to the post office. It's also, um, she was wet and she went into bed, into my bed, and uh, my entire room smells like a wet dog now. So when I get back, got to do some laundry. Should have had the door closed, but what are you going to do, right? So I also noticed one branch did fall. It's right underneath the tree. Kind of can see it. So you had that one broken branch, and then you have another one that completely snapped off. I don't know where that fell off, but uh, it fell off from the tree. Obviously because the weight. And it's more of a weight issue rather than a wind issue. It was supposed to be really windy today. And a lot of people were worried that you know power lines were going to fall and everything. But it just never got windy. Uh, but we are off. A uh, common staple amongst American strip malls are these huge snow mountains. These aren't too bad. In fact, they actually just kind of spaced them out. So it doesn't look too nuts, but I imagine if they put it all into one space, it'd be quite magnificent. But it's not. They spread it out. I also realized I made it into town, and they got probably about, I'd say, close to about two-thirds of what I got. It's one thing I do notice, is that it snows whatever amount everywhere around me seems to get less. It seems like... If you like snow, you should probably live at my place. If you don't like snow, you should probably move. But I'm at the grocery store because I don't have anything to eat. And I need milk because I realized I didn't even have milk or milk was expired by I don't know how long. Okay, well I made it home and guess what I got for dinner? Mac and cheese. How can you go wrong with some mac and cheese? Uh, but I got the uh, the Bob Evans one, the one you get like in the, it's like the cool section, like not cool. Uh, the, like the, you know, like where you can get ham and sausage and ground beef and all that. Uh, they have like a whole row of mashed potatoes and, and mac and cheese. And it was on sale. It was two for six bucks. So for, it wasn't even Bob Evans. It's Reesers or Ressers. This is apparently for two to three people. It's going to be for me tonight. Which is probably too much. I don't know if I need a pound and four ounces of mac and cheese, but it's dinner. Uh, so I got that. I got some bagels. I did want to say thank you to Kathy and Tom from Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. Uh, they sent me a wonderful card and a uh, Dunkin' Donuts gift card. So I greatly appreciate it. I know uh, the card said that you missed my birthday by a couple days and you apologize. So don't feel bad. It's all good. Uh, I did get your card and thank you for the Dunkin' Donuts gift card. I'll be putting it to great use tomorrow morning. That is for sure. Um, and thank you. I greatly appreciate that. Um, thank you, Kathy and Tom. Hopefully, uh, well, hopefully it's a little drier and warmer there, but I don't think Wisconsin's a very warm state. Can't tell you how many uh, outfit changes this video has probably seen. From getting snowed on to stepping in snow. I touched against the, uh, the I don't know where I'll, well, that's probably from Jeep also. I touched against the side of the Jeep, the back wheel well. That's probably why this is all black here. Um, then I got... My whole side of my pants wet and I said screw it the next time I put on a different pair of pants it's going to be sweatpants and that's going to be in for today so I'm not getting into another pair that is that uh, but I did realize when I pulled into the driveway the snow plow came along and uh, completely packed the end of the driveway so now I have to go shovel that part out always something with this show snuggle this show snow shoveling it's always something these gloves I have to put in the dryer. They are, well, right now they're frozen, but they are so beyond soaked. It's like I took a shower with them. All right, I think I'm kind of done for today with this shoveling thing. I was going to throw salt on this, but the sun's going down. I don't know how much is really going to melt overnight with the salt, so I think we'll just leave it like that. And probably tomorrow, throughout the day, all this stuff will melt. We should be able to get out with the van. All right, I've been using this guy trying to get the snow off the top of the van. When I opened the van, I totally forgot I had the stuff in there from yesterday. 
Ah, can't win. The scrapyard is also closed here. When it snows this much, the scrapyard just doesn't open. So I can't run there now. But how am I going to get the snow off the top of this? I'm going to find a ladder or something. So I'm going to be driving on the highway tomorrow. I don't want the snow flying off on the highway. That's not safe at all. And although I got a lot of it, if not most of it, that's what all this is, it's not all of it. I think it's going to freeze overnight, so it's going to have that extra coat of ice on it. It's going to be even more dangerous, so get to find a way. Maybe if I take it... No, that won't work. All right, hopefully this janky thing works. Seen some days. Try this. I thought this was tele... Don't tell me this is telescopic. No, <laughs> that did not help. Oh, goodness. Now, like if this thing was tel telescopic this whole time, whew, I feel like I can take a nap up here. Okay, so that about wraps it up here for today's episode. I just got a pretty gnarly back spasm. Gotta say, if you're ever expecting snow, it sure helps when you put these wipers up. Just gotta make sure that they're flush with that and snow. That's what you don't want that. You don't want this to freeze over overnight then here you're in for a treat tomorrow morning when you try to use them ah, I should do it anyway thanks for tagging along I'm about whooped it's gonna be one of those nights where you think you think you sleep pretty good so thanks for tagging along for today's adventure it's been a snow filled one it's been something a little bit different but it's been fun thanks for uh thanks for tagging along anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys enjoyed hit the like button subscribe for more treasure hunts see what happens on next adventure until next time have a great day keep living a dream peace